Hello and welcome back to The Line. My name is Badger the British and on this episode we are going to be bringing in public transport via trains and metros and all that good stuff really. And as you can see it's going to be, I think it's going to be an easy day to be honest. I mean it's just a line. So yeah, should be quite simple. Easily be able to, to do this. So let's get a cracking. Here we go, we're going to start off by bringing in this train line. And we're going to have one of these. Now there is some new DLC that's out. And it's got all this, but space is quite tight at the moment. So we're trying not to use all those. Although we will obviously have something a bit fancy to start with. And we're going to pop that there. Remembering the metro is on the left and the train is on the right. And then we're just going to use basic stations to get more like you know more bang for your buck really so here we go We're going to move this one in, see if we can get a bit of... No, you're going to have to be destroyed. See if we can get a bit of changeover happening. And now let's go ahead and hook that up. This is going to... no, this isn't the tricky one. Lovely, 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 lovely stuff there. Great, and now to bring in the train lines. So, you can have outside visitors come in. Obviously, we need to bring the tram network over here as well. So let's go ahead and make a little station for just that. How close are we allowed to get? I kind of want it to mirror the other side, the, the actual station platforms. There we go, perfect. There we go, that's the train plumbed in, and the trams are plumbed in as well. Okay, so let's bring in a monorail, because I have not used a monorail in ages. So, what we're going to do is we're going to transform this section of road here, and now it thing is monorails they don't go underground so you can't actually 
go you can go up but you can't go down for some reason in this game they don't make you they don't allow you to go underground with them where every you know you can do with other things like trams and stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to make this side because this side has more businesses and areas where noise is allowed and we're going to have it come down here and it's going to part ways around about here and we're going to upgrade this road No, okay, we'll move that. And then we're going to have a freelance over here. Maybe a station here, and I'm just going to free ball the rest of it, I think, just so it's much more au oh, naturel. Pulling into this section here, I think. Would probably be best or somewhere along here at the bottom we'll see we'll see as we go we are going to need to destroy some businesses that's the only bad thing about these monorails as well not only do they create big noise but they also take up a lot of space There we go, we're going to have loops like that so we can send like really fast monorails somewhere, like just express monorails. We're going to do a little trick here just to, oh no, we can carry that straight on, cool. Okay, this is where the train's going to go a bit rogue. So it's got to get over these. I think if we have one there, and then we basically go like this. Or is that too close? No, I think that's fine for now. Because remember the 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 lines can and the roads can be outside the square, but all the buildings need to be in the square, ideally. So what if Tourist Town had its own one just slightly further out? Better. Right, cool, that's Tourist Town plumbed in. Know the perfect place to put this one. No, actually, that that just looks ridiculous. Hold on.
I wonder if we could just move that down a smidge. Does it does look rather ridiculous on the other side? Yep. Let's re plumb that in as well. Yeah, that looks really ridiculous. Yeah, I love this idea of just like a train running through the desert. It would be an all amazing sight to see. Oh, just try and error now. God dang it, I can't get this to go up. Hold on. What if we do it the other way around? No, it really does not want to go in, does it? It really doesn't want to meet up back up with that rail. Okay. Cut to me four hours later. Oh, okay. So if you come at these at like a 90 degree-ish angle, then you get the two things. But if you don't, then you get something else. There you go, that's what we wanted. Okay, right, so now we know how to do it, how to avoid this scenario. So back up a little bit. Come off at 90 degrees, then we get that nice sweet little turn there. Okay, sweet, that's that one in. This one has now eventually gone in. Oh no. Oh no, not another four hours. <sighs> there we go, boom. We're in luck. Oh yeah, what are we doing back here? Uh I feel like it should run to the end as well. There we go, got the metro, we got the monorail station all plumbed in now. Apart from up here. Okay, so. That's all good. There you go, it takes a divergence and it's coming along here through the desert. And it still opens up the animals who can cross in between the towns. So that's awesome. So now we just need to kick out a few residents. So one there. Yep, one in the uh, IT cluster area. And 
Let's have one at the back here as well. If we may. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn that into that and then we're going to Nope, nope, it's all going wrong now. Nope, okay. Might not have been the greatest place for station this. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we are going to follow the pattern up here as well. Oh, actually, we could... Bring it into here because they can fly off over junctions, can't they? Yes, that would look awesome if we could pop that there. And we're going to have this go straight down here. Hold on, hold on, I'm having too many brainwaves at the moment. Too many brainwaves. Right, boom, boom. I'm just going to move that up just slightly so we can pop it in. Nope, okay, push that back a little bit more. Don't think that's going to work. I knew it. I knew that would go in straight away. Just just to spite me. That's valuable real estate that line is taking up there. So, let's bring that back. I'm going to make this a mono road. Bring in like that. That does not look good, hold on. Let's push that back as far as we can go. Can we get another square? Wonderful. Oh, there we go. Wonderful. Perfecto. Do, 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 do. Yes, done, 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 done. Uh, electricity. Let's connect these guys up. Okay, so let's start putting these services in. Let's start with the monorails. 
So let's have a speedy one that just goes north to south. Then we're going to have one that stops at every single station. I like how the monorails are another one that don't need any uh, key support from like a, a you know a tram station or anything like that. They just appear out of nowhere. There we go. Completed the line. I'm sure it's it's early days, so you know that does not bode well. Okay, well we're moving on just just swiftly. Go one, two, three. It hits all the stations here. There you go, this is going to be the uh, the local one. Is that one really necessary? No, I think we'll delete that. And there we go, that's complete. Now let's put in a super sexy speed, uh, speed one in. So it goes from the top to the bottom here. It's going to stop at the bottom of this one. At the bottom of this one, it's going to ignore Tourist Town and the other one there, and it's going to come up there. Boom, stops there. Oh no, that didn't go through. Okay, right, we'll get rid of that. Now we just wanted to stop at three stops, so top. Middle. I'm going to say top middle there because there's so many people in the city. Uh, no. Don't want you to complete the line. Oh, god damn it. We did it again, haven't we? How's that happened? Let's try this again, shall we? One. There we go, there we go, we've got our fast line in as well. Let's have a look at our new sexy monorail. Where is it? Oh yeah, they are really noisy, aren't they? And yes, the chaos has been sorted out there, so that's wonderful. How does it look going over the Sahara here? God, that looks fun. That looks like a fun ride. So this is the express train we are now following. Which is ironically being held up, but no, it's on its way now, it's all good. Yeah, they need to be longer really. Might not even bother with the express routes, I might just keep them normal. So how's it look coming over here? That's pretty cool. <laughs> I 
That looks dangerous. Very dangerous. Very precarious situation. But it works, so that's fine. Right, now, put in the monorail. This should be... Sorry, put in the metro station. This should be easy as pie. Back. Okay, let's see if I oh, know we haven't got have, they haven't really had the time yet. Okay, so we've hooked up a train network here, but I don't see any trains coming in. Maybe if we put it on three speed. Oh yeah, beautiful, there's one. In it comes. It's got nine passengers on board. Obviously we want to make it easier for them to get to this destination, the trip to transport hub, so we just want them to come down and left, and there we go. And that is pretty cool if I do say so myself. Now we've got to give them a reason to come down here, and let that reason be. I think electronic, like the, the these cables, they can go down the outside. Wonderful. And we're going to have to make them, force them to come down here for some reason. And I think that should be a stadium. And yeah, you can't get these anymore. I mean, we want something big and ostentatious. Which, this looks lovely. There we go. We're going to have this whole downtown bit fully covered now. There you go. So game days are going to have to come down here for that now. And this is going to make it so much more easier to get to... Uh, what's the next milestone? Is it 20... Yes, we're almost there. 22,000. Loads of people already driving in to come see our first football match. That's brilliant. But now they can take the uh, take loads of different uh, transport options as well as a car. And yeah, let's just have a look how that is doing public transport wise. There are three hundred people using our our monorails. Twenty people using train stations. And yep, 300. So, more it's the same amount of people using the uh, monorails and the trams, which is good because it takes the pressure off the trams. Then, and most popular mode of transport is the buses. Wonderful. Silly me, we've got pop in the trams, haven't we? Have this one come backwards. You can go on this one. Just a nice short little hop and a scop. Pop that over there. There we go. Much cleaner in and out. And yeah, when we come to Put in the city, we'll put the what do we call it? We'll put the trams on this side in on the next episode because we are running a bit out of time here. 
Oh, nice shot, we don't know. Mm. Yeah, we'll do it now. Come on. Uh, just... Very quick. Bonus material. Oh, no way. Yeah. Squeeze that in there. Let's have a look. Let's have a little play about with the old system here. Oh. And there we go. Perfect. So we've got that in there now. I'm um, actually going to flip the direction of that. So here we go, this is going to be the second one, put it over there just to counter it, pop that one over there, so come back, and in it goes. So this is going to be the transport hub for the main city area. And you can pretty much get anywhere you want. And let's just... There's no buildings. There's not any uh, accessories or anything like that. Or any electrical piles. No buildings can go past there. But those are fine. So there you go. We've got the trams coming up as well. Which is going to take a bit of a while. Seeing as the tram depot is all the way at the bottom there. But yeah, there we go. It's all... Plumbed in, hemmed in. 85 passengers came in via our little metro link here, which is wonderful. And I think I'm going to leave it there. I think that's a, that was a lovely little episode of me putting in the public transport for this and struggling with the monorail system, which actually did end up looking quite sick, actually. Like, look at that. And yeah, we've now got these trains whizzing through the deserts and things like that. So that looks really nifty. And I think it's going to really take the stress off the trams down the center there by having these like options on either side. What about the metro? Has the metro been in use? Let's have a look at that just quickly. Yep, the metro. Yeah, see, our tra tram usage has gone way down so there's only there's more people traveling actually by the, the by the metro here than this hmm anyway that will do it for today no more bonus material no more anything I wish you all the best of luck with the day and have a wonderful day everyone and how do I get out of this there we go and have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next one, where we will be bringing in more people into this area and building this population up, and breaching easily the 22,000 mark. Alright guys, and girls, goodbye, God bless, have a great one, bye! I hope you enjoyed that, and remember to like, subscribe, and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode. Oh, we've still got some seconds. Why not give me some feedback in the comments below? It would be greatly appreciated. And bonus, you can find me on your favourite social media platform. Links are in the description below. Until next time, have a lovely day.